guys Shan here today I'm going to show you the traditional way how we prepare the curry out of banana flower yeah without further ado let's get started so this recipe is from my Atama where she will be preparing amazing traditional curries and uh, first of all uh, we have picked up three banana flowers and we have uh, uh, taken and cleaned uh, all the banana flowers and we started uh, smashing them into it's not like into the fine paste but we are smashing it so that we could able to get a paste as well as uh, we will be getting uh, a little bit of chunks of uh, bananas uh, while we are eating it would be very tasty while we are chewing it and yes in middle she is using a rock salt uh, because it will just um, accumulate that water in the particular banana and uh, that water will be very raw and as well as it will be very you know bitter so it's better to avoid that water so that's the reason we are adding a little bit of salt while we are uh, smashing it so uh, we are using in a regular way of uh, smashing it uh, or you can use a hand blender but I do suggest if you have any of such uh, you know uh, smashing uh, thing then you can use that way but uh, it tastes amazing guys trust me so if you do really don't have such kind of uh, equipment that and definitely go with a hand blender but uh, try to uh, use it in a very small uh, you know uh, blending kind of a thing don't do it in a very pasty so it won't actually taste good but if you gonna do it in a very pasty consistency so we are taking in a batches because it is a smaller one we do have so we are taking in a batches and we are smashing it So as it is the last batch of uh, banana flower, uh, now we are taking it out in a draining plate. Now we need to drain the, uh, the mixture completely until the water turns into watercolor. You can see the water is so thick and uh, because it do have that kind of uh, banana kind of a flavor which we need to get rid of it. And now we are taking a bani in it. We are taking 4 spoons of oil and uh, we are adding 1 spoon of uh, funeral seeds. It gives amazing taste guys and 2 spoons of uh, urad dal uh, which we mostly in south india will be using it for uh, doing this process and we are adding eight red chilies guys so no need to worry it won't be that spicy it would be you know kind of comfortable spicy for you guys you don't need to worry about it so almost we have added uh, eight red chilies over here and we are uh, let it uh, just sit for a while until it just turns into brown color uh, so now we are adding uh, half a spoon of mustard. Mustard is something which is really gonna give amazing flavor to the dish as well. So we are let it uh, fry until all the uh, you know things that whatever we have added need to get uh, nicely roasted, and uh, we are leaving it uh, for uh, two to three minutes, and then we need to add other uh, things as well. So currently, once uh, giving it a good stir, now uh, we are adding eight green chilies. Now we all people might be thinking, oh my god eight red chilies and eight green chilies but trust me guys it won't be that spicy it would be really really tasty and uh, atama have added uh, curry leaves as well curry leaves will give you amazing fragrance to your uh, dish and now what we're gonna do we need to squeeze all the water out we need a kind of uh, fry kind of a uh, curry we don't want a watery kind of pasty kind of a curry so we need to drain all the water out so the curry will be so so you know dry and it would be it won't be that dry it won't be that wet as well so it would be nice to eat uh, with the hot rice so here Atama is just draining all the water, squeezing all the water so that uh, there won't be any excess water and we are not going to add any water in this dish guys so we will be only adding emily uh, paste that's it we won't be adding anything so now we, uh, we need to stir it uh, completely until uh, uh, whatever the spice whatever the things that we have added here need to be combined with this flour and uh, yeah let it be sitting for uh, one or two minutes and then we'll be adding a couple of other things as well so now uh, we are adding a half a spoon of uh, turmeric powder it gives an amazing color to your dish as well and also it gives amazing fragrance guys so whatever things that we are adding gives amazing fragrance to the thing now we are adding 50 grams of turmeric the 
juice paste taken quality as because we don't want juice so as you can see we are adding a uh, juice like so because now you will be having some thought now why we have added those many chilies because turmeric gonna kill that chili and uh, it just gives a mild chili taste and also it just gives an amazing taste as well and now we are adding a little bit of rock salt you might be having a doubt why we have added rock salt because while we are uh, grinding that uh, banana flour we have already added rock salt but uh, that would won't be sufficient so that's the reason we have added a little bit of rock salt and now we need to stir it completely because it's the time for the dish to get set on fire uh, for at least 10 minutes uh, so that it will completely cook and uh, then our completely traditional curry would be ready so after giving it a good stir uh, now Adama will be keeping a lid on it and then we'll give you completely 10 minutes of rest for this curry then our curry would be ready So after 10 minutes, uh, after seeing the texture and everything, uh, what Atama felt is uh, it may need 5 more minutes uh, for that particular uh, banana flour to cook. So how she could able to know that the banana uh, curry haven't cooked yet, it's semi cooked only. So there is a kind of a small technique what she have uh, told me that uh, we need to test uh, banana by squeezing uh, with both our uh, uh, fingers uh, so then we could able to know whether the banana if the banana need to be crushed banana need to be like paste when we are uh, pressing with our uh, fingers so as you can see she is trying to show me now uh, see it shouldn't be like that uh, because the banana is not getting smashed between the fingers so yeah now she wants to keep it a lid for five more minutes until it completely cook So guys after 5 minutes yes my banana flower curry is ready to eat and uh, it's good to eat with a hot rice and uh, you can add a groundnut oil on top of it which gives an additional flavor to your dish and yes guys I literally love the way it turned and uh, all credit goes to my Atama because she is the one who made this dish and yeah that's all for today guys if you really like my video give it a big big thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel and do share with your friends thank you.